everyone. Thank you for coming for the postmodern track. I would like to introduce our next speaker. This is Barry Sylvester from Cable Studio, yes. right? Right. Uh, and he will tell us about his experience uh, on working with publisher on his mobile game. Let's welcome him. Thank you. <coughs> uh, hi. Uh, so uh, what I wanted to share about is uh, what it's like uh, working with publisher. So this, the title of the talk is Maintaining 100% Indie While Working with a Publisher. Well, first, let's have a background on Pretentious Game. Pretentious, my game, Pretentious Game, which is now out on mobile in iOS and Android, started as a flash game. It's, it's a small flash game with 18 levels, and it started as a game jam entry to Ludum there. The, 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 that game, was be, uh, it became viral. It was front page in Reddit. And also, it was front page in Armor Games Congregate and many uh, famous websites. And it was shared and linked through StumbleUpon. And the game was also invited as an uh, entry to Innovation Showcase at Casual Connect Seattle in 2012. And then I followed it up with the next chapter in 2013. And it was also uh, uh, in the Casual Connect in the prize in San Francisco last year. It won the Director's Choice Award and uh, it was nominated for Best in Storytelling in that event. Then flash forward to 2013, December 2013, uh, a mobile game was released and it was criti critically acclaimed. We had rave reviews from Touch Arcade, four out of five stars. Apps, uh, 148 apps and Arcade Sushi and many other gaming sites and also the players love it. We had like 4,000 ratings averaging 4.6. So it's a, re it's a success in number of plays and uh, reviews and player reviews. So what I am here is about working with a publisher and not about the games, so uh, I will start here. Uh, it's about when not to get a publisher. Um, a friend, my, many, many of my friends ask me, uh, what, what's it like working with, with a publisher and do they even need one? They said, in the world of uh, indie games making it big in mobiles, should we need the publisher? Well, you're looking at the mobile games which are successful. Look at the tens and thousands of games which are buried under the list of games. So think about it. Don't be overconfident. If you are overconfident, don't get a publisher. Also, if you are, you're tight on budget, um, because uh, they will schedule the game for the best time to release, uh, they will do the best uh, testing of your game. They will advise the best strategy for your game. So you have to take uh, that into account about uh, getting a publisher. So if you plan on, get, on releasing your game so you can get money on March for your kid's tuition fee, uh, you can't do that. Yeah. And you can't expect to get money on that date. Get o you don't also have to get a publisher if it's too indie. So uh, my other games which are self-published are too indie, like Bieber Ragdoll, where you drag a uh, ragdoll of Justin Bieber and smash him with cars. I don't think any publisher will like that. <laughs> but I, it did get popular <laughs> because of the kids. And it got popular again because of the, the news about Justin Bieber. And also, you don't get a publisher if you're worried with your IP. Although, you can work out if, uh, when working with a publisher to still have your IP 100%. So I am telling you that uh, I have worked with my game, and still I am 100% indie. By the way, uh, I'm working with a publisher. This publisher is, happens to be big. They are bulky picks, and they're actually right here. 
they're at the second row of the chairs. <laughs> yes. Okay, when not to get a publisher, when you like this. <laughs> this is too indie, this is too short of a game. If you, if, if you find a publisher for this game, you, they will add ads, they will add a number of times that it will get played, but of course, this will work on other publishers. This is based on a chilingo based game. <laughs> I saw this on an impossible line. It, it's like an advertisement made into a game. So I won't, I won't, I won't want my game to be turned into an, a living advertisement. Yeah. So when to get a publisher? So this is the reverse. When you are a one-man team like me, uh, I don't have time to make marketing materials, to make press contacts, to, to promote my game. And you need press relations, just like I said. And you have no business or marketing skills. Uh, I will tell you about something that uh, increased our revenue later. And you want professional advice, insider tips, and support team. And, of course, you want to push your game to the top. So, for example, in one game like Helsing Fire, uh, I read it in a book. It's bottomless. It's about the uh, mobile games which were successful. So, Chilingo, the publisher, uh, he said that uh, the first enemy in Helsing's Fire is, looks like a shit. I mean, literally shit. So, they wanted that removed. And in the end, the developer was very glad they have listened to the publisher. So, sometimes you get blinded with uh, your games, right? So, you need some professional uh, team to get, to get your game to a professional level. So, in my case, uh, the in-app shop was made sexier. Uh, we had a better in-app shop. We had extra in-app items, which uh, uh, resulted to increased revenue. And we have ported it and translated it to 11 languages. <coughs> oh, so how do you get a publisher, if you would ask? So um, they're right there. <laughs> so they, are, they, are, they attend conferences. They look for uh, the games that, uh, will be, that, will, that they will see that will do good. Uh, they have the eyes to see which games will do good. And you can also email them. I emailed uh, FDJ Entertainment and also Armor Games since I've been working with them with uh, Flash Games. And they usually reply with, okay, this is cool. Uh, can you send me an IPA? Or can you send me an IPA with my UDID? And then uh, sometimes they will turn it away like, uh, FDG Entertainment or Chilinga, they will say, uh, these Flash games that do well on the f web, they usually don't do well on mobile. So you, it, it doesn't hurt to try. So just try and send your game if you feel like you need a publisher. And then how do you show them your game? You show them your screenshots, your, your trailers, and then IPA with their UDID. I never send an APK for Android because that's, that can easily be uh, distributed and maybe one employee of them or an intern of them gets a hold of that and then they sold the game. It's, <laughs> it's not their fault, that, not my fault. So, and, but that will be my greatest regret. <laughs> okay, now so, so for my game, how did they, the Bulk, Bulky Picks team, they, how did they get my game? I posted a trailer and the uh, uh, description in Touch Arcade Forum. I got a little bit of feedbacks from the players. And then Belkipix contacted me. I, I remember correctly, it's Axel. So uh, he was very kind and I was very flattered. I, I, I became very proud to be contacted by one of the best publishers. And so, uh, I negotiated and we come up with a fair uh, offer for both of us. We like it for, for, from each point of view, we like it. Okay, things I've learned working with a publisher. So as an indie game developer, I know nothing. But when I research, but when I knew about this, I researched it and many game developers already know this. So they're not sharing this. So I'm gonna share you this. So Frozen, this is a, 
this about uh, December. So apps are frozen. So you, 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 on, you can only send your games until this, uh, December 21. And after that, the, the games will, won't get updated. Apple is on vacation. Uh, no games will be uploaded. That's why Cut the Rope 2 was uh, released this, that time. So they took over the uh, entire December uh, listing. Uh, I believe rankings don't get updated too. So that's what, wha what one of the learnings I, lear uh, I learned from my publisher. Um, Thursday, it's not Friday. So Thursday, they, they, uh, Thursday midnight, they uh, rotate the uh, Apple features. So you want to get your game be seen the most at, on Thursday. And uh, so the list, uh, I was surprised to see the list that the uh, review sites previewed, and they are the same as those that were front page the next day. So I believe maybe they know exactly wh uh, which ones are going to be big. So also, uh, Apple will ask for promotional banners. I never knew about this, but when I told a developer, they said, yeah, it happened to me. Oh, yeah, it happened to you, but why didn't you tell me? So it's uh, one of the, I don't know, a secret from developers. So some developers have not prepared, so they emailed, yeah, Apple emailed, and then they want it tonight. And the developer is a programmer. So you, you can imagine his problem, that you have to send Apple uh, for a feature, uh, possible feature and front page, but you're a programmer, and you have to make this uh, 800 pixels by something, and you have to pre pre prepare it tonight, and your artist is sleeping. So you, you can imagine the problem. So next time, they, were, they have prepared for this. So always prepare for uh, possibility of being featured. So this is, uh, this is my game. It's a pretentious game that was featured in a mini banner. <coughs> Things I've got uncomfortable. So uh, there are really not much to say about negative things. But uh, so, so these aren't really uh, problems. But they are minor problems. But I'm going to say anyway. I don't have quick access to the app page. So if I want to update the app page with the reviews from uh, Touch Arcade, uh, I can't easily do that because they handle the updating. So I have to email them, then they will have to uh, update the game. Also, uh, setting up in-app billing for Google Play is a pain. This is Google f Google's fault, not publisher. Why? Because they have not included Philippines in the merchant account they have not approved us, but uh, this February 6th, they have approved us. So Philippines, Thailand, uh, Malaysia can now uh, sell games through Android, mm. except Vietnam, probably because of Flappy Bird. <laughs> so <laughs> Vietnam can still, can still sell games on Android. So publisher works on many games. You have to realize that publisher has many games, and they have many games to publish. So, so just like working in a company, you have to wait, you have to time, you have to to have a system, right? Because indie game developers, if they want it now, they want it now, and also they have day offs on weekends because the indie game developers work as they please. They even work on Sundays. I even work on updates on Saturday, Sunday, so I can present them the new game, and then I take the rest of the weekdays off. <laughs> so I have five days off. So they also have upload now, get it approved, update later. This is one of the learnings I've gotten into. So I actually like it uh, because if, if Apple uh, approves your game, it will take you 10 days, right? Why don't you get it approved first and then uh, update it later? With, when you, you update it, they will take less time to update it. So you pass the grueling process of waiting the longer time. So you, you can update, you can always update before release. So the results. So we, we were, f my game is featured in the best new games in Europe and Asian countries and 
other countries. <coughs> we were reviewed in Touch, Our, Touch Arcade, AppSpy. We got a meta score of 77, so that's mostly four out of five. We got uh, featured in Jokes Video, uh, uh, magazines, and JV magazines. I got featured in my local TV shows, <laughs> so I did little promotion by myself too. So it was all success and fame for me, which is uh, really part uh, that isn't unco that isn't common to me. I used to be a factory worker, <laughs> and I'm accountant graduate. So. It's uh, weird that uh, I got this uh, success on games. So the, these are the results. Uh, that's the first week of sales since we we're, were featured. And then the spike, can you guess with what caused the spike? It's Touch Arcade and uh, Vsauce feature. So we got a lot of downloads from the US. And if you get a lot of downloads from the US, you get a lot of sales because the uh, the conversion is much higher. US is uh, much richer, or not? Europeans would won't agree. <laughs> so okay. So this is something uh, I am particularly proud of, and they have uh, thought about this. Uh, I am very thankful to Balky Peaks about this. It's something interesting to tell too, because if you have a game and you want to sell it, you can actually do this a Kickstarter style of in-apps. So you can unlock the full game for one dollar. But if you, are, if, if you really like the game, you can pay for three dollars or five dollars and you get bonuses like wallpapers and soundtracks. And it's actually effective. So, so people will think, why would you pay five dollars for a one dollar game? Because they like it. And that's true. That will happen. You can see that we got 20% of the sales, they bought $5, 10% bought $3, and 70% bought the $1 pack. Okay, so uh, how am I sure that they, they really like it and it was not a misclick? And they really intend to pay me? I can see the uh, comments. So I love it, wish the whole thing was free, but I'll purchase the game soon. Maybe even support the group, this app was great. So they want to support. And this one actually paid for the $5. I went ahead and paid the $5 to get the game packs and support the studio, which is awesome. <laughs> you have options on how much to pay, game pack only, or support creators, which I thought was nice, right? So that's like uh, giving tips to waiters. So, and it works on games too. So I wonder whose idea was it <laughs> from Bulky Picks. <laughs> Well, that, that's really an interesting. It increased our sales to up to 30%. Okay, that's it. Uh, any questions? Uh, any questions, guys? Um, okay, I have a couple of questions. So uh, your publisher is uh, Bulky Picks, if I understand right. Yes. Uh, uh, before you sign up with them, did you have any other offers from other publishers and who were they are? Ar uh, armor games and also I just learned now that congregate is regretting that they didn't get it also <laughs> yeah so when I forgot his name he approached me and why didn't you show me this game and I said I thought you were not publishing mobile games so he was really regretting and then <laughs> well Balkopek said he's slow <laughs> Uh, so, what was the main reason why you uh, choose these awesome guys? <laughs> well, uh, I did check out their, uh, of course, you will have to check out their uh, credibility and also their uh, uh, achievements. And you can see that they made sandbox, typewriter, uh, and almost all of the, their games are front page. And they're, they're really kind, they're really fair. And Armor Games, they have they leave this uh, game testing to uh, an individual who is not related to Armor Games. I I mean he was just uh, he was just uh, an individual hired. I mean maybe if you had three or more who would see the game, they would like it. So 
uh, I, I like how the bulky picks team uh, actually played the game. So that's it. Uh, more questions? Yeah. Hi. Uh, so when you say you're 100% indie with a publisher, is that because you still own your IP? You're still the 100%? Yes, yes. I, I, I own the pretentious game IP. Okay. And then would you work with a publisher again? Uh, probably with my bigger games, it's because I used to make casual small games. So when I get to have a bigger game ready, I will try to see if anyone in is interested. And yeah, why not? Because uh, it 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 ha it divides my work into three or four because they they will take care of the art asset, the screenshots, the press release, the press kits, and I'm just one man team. I can't handle all those. You're okay with them doing the press kits and the yeah yeah they they well. actually made very professional press kits that I would not even make myself. Do you approve everything that goes in there, or do you sort of trust them? To yeah, I actually, they base it on my uh, writings. I actually had descriptions. Actually, the the screenshots used was my screenshots uh, that I used before the before I even. Uh, found them, so no, not much change, but uh, insights are there. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, more questions? No? Are you going to work on the second part of the game? Uh, yeah, chapter four. You mean the second part of the game? Yeah. We have just updated the game. We released chapter four. And it's released February 13, just in time for Valentine's Day. And we have all these hearts. And so we're really hoping to get featured again for Valentine's. And because Apple just asked us for promotional banners again. And we, we added more hearts. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. If uh, nobody has questions anymore, let's say thank you for our speech.